Well, Yakima County remains a major hotspot, of course, in the state for coronavirus, with Harborview now taking care of one seriously ill patient. The county still has more than 6,300 COVID-19 cases, with 456 hospitalizations and 138 deaths. But tonight, King 5's Glenn Farley looks at a number we don't talk about much, which can tell us whether we are winning or losing the fight against the virus. You can see it on the State Department of Health's dashboard. It's that blue line running between gray bars. Call them the bars of uncertainty. In Western Washington, it's at 1.2 as of June 5th, with a lot of uncertainty. R is a lagging indicator, but a sign that more people are likely to get sick. In Eastern Washington, it's 1.1, a bit lower than the west side of the state, but with a higher degree of certainty. Why does R matter? That measure, the reproductive number, helps us to understand whether the epidemic is growing or shrinking in our area. Janet Baseman is Associate Dean for Public Health Practice at the University of Washington School of Public Health. And there's going to be um, uncertainty in our reopening as well. Um, and that's why these indicators and dashboards that have been created are so helpful. This is how it works. If R is one, that means one person infects one other person. But if R value is three, one person infects three others, who in turn infects three others. They infect three others. You get the idea, the number of sick people, mushrooms. But if society can get below one, then the opposite happens. An R value of 0.5 would be good news. It's a mathematical way of looking at it. You couldn't infect just half a person, but a group of infected people would infect fewer people. Those sick people would infect fewer still. The virus eventually has nowhere to go and ultimately dies out. Until we are solidly uh, below one, there is cause for concern. Baseman says it's a complex number to calculate, but another tool to help guide the fight against the virus. In Linwood, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.